Ryan, few details have actually been released regarding the president's executive order on immigration, but immigration advocacy groups are already preparing those who it may benefit before the president signs the order. Amparo Martinez has four children, all of whom are U.S. citizens. Under President Obama's executive order, she hopes to gain legal status. I have a lot of hope, a lot of hope. I hope it's more than just staying here. Martinez is one of hundreds of immigrants attending an information workshop put on by La Unión del Pueblo Entero in San Juan. For me, it was very important the decision that was made. I came for the orientation so I will know everything I have to do so I won't have to be scared anymore. Lupe Special Projects Coordinator Tanya Chavez says Lupe is telling their members now is not the time to hire an attorney. There isn't an application yet available and that they shouldn't be paying any money or any deposits or signing up in any list or waiting list for the case to be taken because nothing exists yet. What they should be doing is gathering paperwork and paying taxes. Liberty Tax General Manager David Perez says immigrants should be preparing now for immigration reform. They need to be filing their tax return with their children. That is the law and they should be doing it. And it'll help them on their tax return. Every time that they don't declare things like income or their dependents, those are things that will hinder them from getting citizenships because it looks like they're lying or hiding something. And, you know, being honest and open is the best path in life in general, and this will help them toward citizenship. The Mexican government praises the president's order, but the Mexican consulate in McAllen is warning Mexican citizens to be aware of fraud. Today, there's no application forms or any payment that has to be done, so it is important for the Mexicans and for our nationals to be aware of this and to avoid the, 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 fraud, the fraud that can, that can take place in the future. And the threat of fraud is why many are looking to Lupe for what they should do next. They're being very cautious, but they're willing to be educated. So if you have any questions on how the executive order will affect you or other family members, you can join Lupe tomorrow at 10 o'clock for another workshop. And they say if need be, they'll have more next week. In the Hidalgo County Newsroom, Brett Crandall, Action 4 News.